Hey, Math 31, I had a question coming off of section 5.5, number 65. So here are the directions, right, for the following exercises. Use your calculator to graph the polynomial. And based on the graph, find the rational zeros. And all real solutions are rational. So let's take a look at this. If I graph this function in my calculator, and I, I already programmed it in here, so I, I plug the polynomial in. I'm going to hit zoom 6, just so we can see what that graph would look like. It's going to be a quartic with a positive leak coefficient, so I know both ends are up. It would I would have guessed it would have looked like a W, but I'm not seeing the W there. I am seeing something that looks like it bounces or touches the x-axis, not crosses through. So let me go zoom in on that because I can't really get a good feeling for what that looks like. All right, so I can see here is an x-coordinate of 1. Here's an x-coordinate of 2, so I'm very zoomed in. And there is my my rational zero as I look at that. So it's somewhere between 1 and 2. If I were to play out all of the possible rational zeros, and this is if I take all the factors of this constant here and put them in ratio to all the factors of our lead coefficient, I get a whole bunch of possible rational zeros. And the ones that are between 1 and 2, if I look at this, um, we have plus or minus 1 here. None of these first fractions are between 1 and 2. 5 isn't. Um, this is 5 halves, that's not, but 5 fourths is. So that's a candidate, not between 1 and 2, not between 1 and 2. Um, this one, 25 sixteenths, is also between 1 and 2. So really, if I look at this, I, I think this might be 5 fourths. That kind of looks like it's about a fourth of the way. So let me check it. I'm going to hit second, and I'm going to go to the trace key. And instead of calculating a 0, I'm just going to plug in a value. Let me see what happens when I input 5 fourths. And when I do that, sure enough, I do get that zero back out. And something to take note of is because it touched the x-axis, not crossed through, then I know that I have a multiplicity of two. So if we scroll down on my solutions, what I have here, oh, I'm pointing to something and you can't see it. Um, since, that I, since I knew about that multiplicity of the zero, I used long division twice, so I divided this polynomial, the cortex, the 16x to the fourth, minus 24x cubed, blah, blah, blah. I divided that by 4x minus 5, and then I divided that again by another 4x minus 5 because I had that double zero. I had that multiplicity of 2. And then the quadratic that le was left over was x squared plus x plus 1. And that doesn't factor. Um, there was nothing I could do there. So since that didn't factor, it meant my only, or I should say, it doesn't factor over the real numbers. You could use the quadratic formula, and you would find out that there were imaginary solutions. But this question asked us to only find the real ones. So the only real 0 that I have here is 5 fourths. Um, so that's why I have here the 0 occurs at 5 fourths, and that is my only 0 in this problem. So I hope that helps with number 64. Five, I think it was. All right. Thanks so much, gang. Bye.